If you're like me, you've considered getting the Xbox One S as your standalone 4K DVD player for your home entertainment system. I mean, after all, they're on sale around this time of year for $189, and a standalone 4K ultra high definition DVD player by itself is about the same price. So why not get two for the price of one? A gaming system and a 4K UHD player. Well, I'm not so sure that that's a good approach. I mean, it's a great gaming system, but to my eyes, the 4K capabilities of the Xbox One S, they don't really add up. And from what I experienced so far, the gaming really isn't that much of an improvement over the older Xbox 360s, which you can pick up these days secondhand for 40 to $80. So is it really worth spending four times the money on the console and the games and the 4K movies? Well, let's find out, shall we? It's worth noting at this point that right out of the box, you have to go through a lengthy setup process. Update, and then update again, install the Blu-ray app. It's kind of a buzzkill when all you want to do is plug the machine in and start watching a movie. So let's take a look at the 4K capabilities. Unlike having a dedicated 4K player, you'll have to turn on your remote, which in this case is your Xbox controller before you can use any of the navigation. Unless you, of course, purchase the optional uh, media remote that is made specifically for the Xbox 360S. So I guess this is a good time to mention that you have to use an app to play your 4K disc. A um, little bit of an extra step, you will have to decide if it's worth it to you. So let's use our remote to launch the app by pushing the A button. Okay, let's try that again. But as you can see, we are definitely in 4K. There's our loading screen. Okay, so we are watching the movie, and I want to pause it soon. So I push this menu button, uh, down, left, 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 and then A. When I was first watching this movie, I thought, you know, this doesn't really seem that much better than a Blu-ray. So why am I paying all of this extra money? And that's a good question. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and play the Blu-ray, and I'll stop it at the exact same moment, and get in here and show you the amount of detail side by side. Same movie, Blu-ray version. Okay, here we are with the Blu-ray version. Same scene, same moment. Is there really that much of a difference? Just for comparison's sake, let's do a side-by-side. -side. So there you have it. Rather than make a judgment call of my own, I will let you guys decide if it's worth it to you or not. If you have the money to throw around, sure, go ahead and get it. The One S is a great system. Uh, it plays games just as good as the old 360 does. Some people say a little bit better. I haven't experienced it in the type of games that I play yet, but perhaps in the near future I'll see a difference. As far as the 4K DVDs go for home entertainment, for watching movies, to me, 
I'm just not seeing it. Why would I pay four times more for each movie and there not be four times the quality? And of course, the other issues associated with using a gaming console as your main home entertainment movie player, such as having to update the apps, having to update the system. When you first buy it, you have a lengthy setup process you have to go through. That's only one time, but it kind of takes the fun out of that moment where you unbox it and you set it up and you watch a movie right away and you're impressed. It takes a couple hours to get going and watching a movie with this console. So there you have it. You decide. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you'll never miss a future episode. And as always, I look forward to hearing your comments. Do you agree with any of my conclusions? Do you have an Xbox One S that you bought that you really enjoy? Let me know. All right, take care.